Hello to all my friends out there. So I just got home and this video is, I can't find anything in the dumpsters. There's nothing in there but garbage. <laughs> so uh, yesterday I bought this uh, Diet Coke at uh, Walmart, caffeine free. What I'm trying to do is uh, drink caffeine free when I get home. It'd be the same thing as if I was addicted to energy drinks or um, or coffee. You know, I know someone who did the half and half method. That doesn't work for me. Okay, so I was walking two hours a day, and tonight I needed chicken, so I ran to Smart and Final, and I got four one two three four uh, chicken breasts, one half price. And I bought donuts, one half price. So, you know, you can see the donuts were good because there's not very many left. So the chicken was $5.45 and the donuts were $1.25. Okay, what I will do is with the chicken, I will lightly dust it with um, flour. And then I'll pour some cream of chicken soup on top of it. And I'll cover it and bake it in the oven. And I'll have a small um, carb portion and I'll have a large veggie portion because one of the followers was saying she works all the time and she gets home and she's got three kids and she's tired and I used to be tired I used to get home at 8 o'clock at night and I was very very tired okay I was trying to do the dumpster diving thing, and, and I thought, wow, how does anybody do this? And and I watched uh, Freaking Frugal, and you know, I saw her husband and her, I did learn though, you guys, I'll get to that. I watched her videos, and, um, and I prayed, and I said, God, how does anybody do this? I mean, what if some of my followers don't have any food? How would they do this? Okay, this is one of these things you have to do it for a while before you start getting the hang of it. And then, you know, when you find stuff, stockpile it. Maybe you don't want to eat it today. Maybe you don't want to eat it next week. But throw it in a box. Throw it in the garage. And, you know, create a little stockpile. Okay, so now I'll get into uh, what I did. So I had some really bad trash in my... my um, bathroom and I thought wow I gotta take this out now you know so I took the trash out and what somebody did is they were moving and they put some stuff they didn't want anymore by the side of the dumpster and so I thought wow okay I watched this video and it's on my Twitter go to my Twitter there's a lot of good videos uh, one of the um, Luxuries of being retired is you can watch these videos all the time and it's like watching TV But you pick the show, you know And I posted this video top 10 low-cost high-profit margarine lightweight items to resell on eBay One thing he mentioned was handheld games and what did I find a new handheld game? I go, oh good that, that's like 10 bucks. And then I saw this thing. Uh, this I will probably sell at the swap meet. It's like a little thermos. Um, these kind of items I sell uh, $3 or two for five. And so I watched this video and it said, don't just have one in income, I uh, have several. And so I'm, I'm retrieving the bird scooters and the line scooters. I have eBay. I have YouTube. I have um, the swap meet. I'm going to do that again. And uh, I want to do Poshmark and, and Amazon, especially Amazon. Okay. And so one of the things he mentioned was toys. This is cute. Okay, now, what he suggested was grouping the toys. And, you know, it makes sense. If you can get your kids some cute toys, he suggested these little um, small ones. So somebody's moving. 
They throw their toys in the dumpsters, but this is the kind of stuff you want to look for. So I got uh, three toys. So I could group them together and, you know, sell them. Anything I sold them for would be a profit because it only cost me nothing to get this stuff. And then, uh, okay, so that's all I got by the side of the dumpster. So uh, what I will do is, since I got it in a dumpster, I will create a box and I will throw it in the box. And, you know, I will sell it either at the swap meet or on eBay. So, um, you know, I was watching uh, Freakin' Frugal. And what I noticed is they would get bags out. And so what happened was, let me show you this. Also, I tried to find um, copper bracelets. Uh, just for myself, but these are easy to sell online if you price them right. So if you find those cheap in the thrift store. Okay, so I saw a bag in there. And what it looked like is it looked like somebody was cleaning the kitchen out and moving. And they just threw everything in the garbage. And, uh, and so I thought, you know, I know what that's like. Because when I was going to move... I had the impulse just to trash everything, but I didn't. I donated it. And so what I found was I found an, an empty coffee can, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take that because I'm still doing the indoor garden thing, which is not going well. And then I found these sunglasses, and I can't sell these online because they're some kind of, they're in good shape, though. Bodyguard. Anyway, I, I will check it out. They're, they're not scratched up or anything, but somebody asked me, are the lenses um, scratched on one of my sunglasses? So I took a, a magnifying glass to them and I saw some microscopic chips. These I can see are a little bit scuffed up, but I would sell these uh, $3 each or two for $5 because when I first started the, the swap meet, I knew about this lady who did the swap meet, and she would sell stuff. When people left stuff, she would get it, and she would, um, and she would sell it $3 each. Okay, so then, so here's the bag. And I thought, well, I can get it without getting dirty, so I found one can of mangoes and it's not it is expired i checked them to make sure now here is a good one actually september 2018 but one of the things people are are apt to run out of fried apples i would say this stuff looks like it came from uh big lots so these are good because I, I actually stockpile um, sweet potatoes. So I would have the option to eat these or donate these. And then I found two packages of unopened um, Kool-Aid. And so I took those. And the reason I took those is because the time when we went to the, the food bank... Um, they, they give you those. So I could... Um, okay, when I was doing, when I was going through my son's stuff, my friend said, um, trash the stuff that was, um, expired, but, um, I have se since found out that the Salvation Army takes it expired, especially if it hasn't been expired. I mean, if you're pretty sure the food has been in someone's residence, you know, it would be different if it was in a hot shed or something. So um, I just want to encourage you guys, you know, if you don't have that much money, don't give up on the dumpster diving. Uh, you can always, I'd say the thing to do is throw it in a box and, and if someone you know needs food, give it away to them. They sell this kind of stuff at the swap meet. Let's see, say you sold it a quarter, it'd be $1.50. 
and then you know they would have some food too you could do I might sell some of the stuff at the swap meet we'll see when I do the swap meet I'll show you guys what I do so anyway I'm coming along on the dumpster diving and so I I say one of my little pillow bags so I will just uh, you know from I buy pillows I buy pillows for my purses. Okay, so this is all. And so what I'll do is I'll just bundle it up like this. And, and then I, I will decide what in the world I want to do with it. Do I want to keep it? Uh, this is kind of interesting, though. The two that are not expired are the sweet potatoes. And this is a really low price, and I'm pretty sure these came from Big Lots. So I'll be making my way over to Big Lots myself for the stockpile. Okay, you guys, so that's how you can persevere with the uh, dumpster diving. And God bless you all.